old man learns a good lesson. Everyone of a certain age who remains in contact with their parents will know the story. Parents agree to come to help out with young children or dog sitting. Parents arrive in great flurry of, don't panic the cavalry's here. Parents proceed to put their feet up while you run around catering to their whims and making tea. Then parents say, oh I'm easy. Whatever you have in the fridge but what I'd really like is two eggs. Soft boiled. A slice of toast 5 mm thick with 12 grams of butter and a deviled kidney but only if it's no bother. Of course and by the way I don't eat Dijon mustard do you have any Pommery and what's for dinner? Quote. A relative of mine. A member of the notorious cavalry. Recently suffered a case of acute malicious compliance. Staying with us. He got an invitation to an old friend's around lunchtime. Asked if he'd come round and whether he'd like lunch he said. Oh. Don't go to any trouble. This means. To him. That he'll be fine with two courses and wine. Don't worry about pud but if there's any cheese of course he won't say no. He wouldn't want to be rude. And quartz cheddar is his favorite. Merrily. He totters off. Bearing a bottle of Chateau Fleet Street. Expecting a groaning table. His hosts. Don't go to any trouble. They seat him and they drink his plonk. Having a convivial chat. Presumably having eaten before he knocks on the door. He returns. Hours later. Hungry and grumbling that he has not eaten. I'm still giggling. Months later. Well written. Good use of convivial. How to tell me you're from the UK without telling me you're from the UK. Sounds like poor Bilbo when the dwarves pop round. I love this. I would tell them to get off their butts and help or get out. This is the most British thing I've ever read on this sub. Can't relate to a bit of it. But it's a lovely story. Have an updude. 12 grams of butter? Deviled kidney? What year do you live in, you 17th century fop? This makes me giggle so much. Rolling on the floor laughing. You sound. So British. Not that that's a mark against you but am I on the money? Your English is tops but as an American I've never once heard, plonk, as anything other than in. Onomatopoeia. English people never say what they mean. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.